In this video, I'm going to explain the two types of storage options I use in our Ranger. Stick around to the end and I'll have a pro tip in creating your own tree saver straps. As always, please show your support by hitting the subscribe button. Number one, a waterproof bag. This is one storage option I carry in all our machines, whether it's full or empty. When we're in the Ranger, I use it to place my tools in it and store them underneath the passenger seat. This is the way if it rains or mud is flying, the tools stay rust free because they're sealed up. Now it's a universal and portable dry storage bag everyone should have in their machines. We use it for towels when we're trying to go down to the creek to swim and don't want the towels to get all muddy before we get there. We've used it for other things like snack bags and electronic storage during potential days it might rain, but we still want it to go right. Number two, dry bucket storage. With the five gallon bucket twist top lid, you can turn any bucket into a resealable storage container. Things I've learned from using this lid was it's not waterproof. It's leak proof to a point but I wouldn't trust any electronics in the bucket if caught out in a rainstorm. But that's what the waterproof bag is for that we discussed in point one. Now we use the five gallon storage bucket for snacks during family rides because it's easy for the kids to open and close. Now during hunting season, I'll use one for all the cleaning knives and supplies we use when cleaning animals after we harvest them. I do have a third bucket I use for small jobs around the property that I don't want to carry the full tool bag for. Those are just a few ways we use the portable storage option. They're very useful and I suggest getting one for yourself. In conclusion, with a waterproof storage bag and a five gallon bucket lid, you are the best inexpensive storage options for your machine. Now the pro tip in creating tree savers is I use damaged two inch ratchet straps. Now either cut by a trailer rail or the ratchet no longer works. I cut it down the length that I would like then I make loops at both ends of the strap, creating the perfect tree saver. So please check out the description of this video for the links to all the products we mentioned. Using the links in our description to buy these products helps us to continue to bring you great information like this video. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. If this video has helped you in finding storage options for your side-by-side, -side, then please smash the like button and thank you for watching.